So the Super Bowl's come and gone. Right now it's time to prepare for another big event that requires bringing your A game, if you know what I mean, right? We're talking about Valentine's Day, folks. Oh, yeah. And one North Georgia winery and resort is already cooking up a romantic holiday. Good day, Atlanta's Paul Milliken is live at Chateau Alon Winery and Resort in Brazelton. And, Paul, you're getting quite the breakfast. You always have a great assignment. Oh, this one's yeah. really good, really good. You know it. Well, and today is really appropriate, though. Like I said earlier, I'm kind of the love doctor of Good Day Atlanta. When you guys I have you said you were a nice. and you need you're advice, changing your story. You always come to me, right? I mean, that's how it's always been. You don't know. I have try, Sharon comes to me all the time with <laughs> questions. I have to give my sage advice, so it's perfect. Oh, he's dreaming. I'm here this morning, he's yeah, talking asleep. about Valentine's Day, and there is no better place for it than Chateau Alon Winery and Resort with this guy, Executive Chef Rodney Ashley. It's great to see you, sir. How are you? Very very good. Thank you so much for I coming. I shake your hand because you got the gloves on. You got to work, and you know I don't want to. I haven't washed my hands yet. I'm just doing the eating. So let's first of all let's talk about Chateau Alon Winery and Resort. This is a beautiful property up here in Brazelton, and you've got a whole lot of opportunities for people to come up and spend their Valentine's Day. Give me a rundown of what you've got up here. Okay. Well, um, so for Valentine's Day, you can expect uh, all sorts of things that you could do. Uh, one thing that I would recommend is the spa. You can Ooh. do some uh, couples okay. massages. There's yep. some really good food down there, uh, healthy food. Mm -hmm. um, also in Versailles, there's a, a, a special Valentine's Day menu. Uh, so you'll get a prefixed menu with all sorts of goodies to choose from. Nice. And uh, there's a brand new menu in Versailles as well. And that's just one of seven restaurants you have here. Mm -hmm. So there are plenty of opportunities to eat. Do the restaurants cover a wide variety of food here? Yes, they do. So Versailles has a little French twist on it. Uh -huh. uh, Patty's is our Irish pub, which we just launched some new appetizers Ooh, in there, which we're nice. really excited for. And of course, there's Mark, which is in the winery. And uh, this is actually one of the Mark appetizers for Valentine's Day. Okay, let's talk about it. So yeah. what is this here? So this is a mushroom arancini. Arancini Ooh. is a risotto and uh, in the middle there's some uh, wild mushrooms like shiitakes and it's breaded with panko mm -hmm. and fried and it's served with this cheese fondue. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Everyone loves fondue for so, Valentine's Day yeah, too. It's perfect. I recommend, yeah. I recommend just uh, going, going, going for it. Going for it right yeah. now? Okay. Yeah. Well, if you insist, sir, I'm not going to turn you down, you know. I mean, come on. Now, while we take a little bite, oh, it's totally falling apart. Nobody else eat from that. My fingers have now been all over in that's that the, cheese. That's good, the, good, the goodness well, of it. Well, the good thing is now I'm going to have to eat that entire thing, so it's perfect. While I eat this, tell me what you're cooking right here. Okay, so this is a a special healthy option. Mm -hmm. um, this is something that we do every once in a while. We get some uh, special requests. Uh, everyone uh, nowadays, especially, is very health conscious. Yeah. So this is a rendition of uh, an avocado toast. Oh, okay. So uh, everybody typically uh, avocado toast is uh, the avocado. Uh, you have all the little goodies that you mm -hmm. have on there. This one here, um, instead of the toast itself, mm -hmm. what we'll do is uh, we'll use sweet potato. Oh, I love that. Yeah, it's a great idea. Yeah. It's super healthy. So we'll just get some. This is a, a, a salt mortar. This oh. is a Himalayan salt. Nice. And this is a smoking gun. So we kind of give the avocado a little bit of uh, smoke. And it gives oh, it just cool. another little dimension of flavor. Yeah, that's cool. And so, so then literally this. instead of toast, you're just putting it on sweet yeah, potato. Yeah, so you basically you just roast this uh, sweet potato, not to the point of where it's going to turn into baby food, but right, to, you know right. you want it to have some substance. And this is actually uh, a great idea. You know, my wife is always one-upping me, so she came up with she, this idea because yeah. she's uh, doing her fit her fitness class. That is such a good idea. And so then along with the avocado, what else goes on here? Just whatever else you want to put well, on it? Well, this is what we do. We put a little avocado on here. Mm -hmm. And here I have some smoked salmon. So we'll put some smoked salmon, Ooh. little rosettes on there like this. Okay. Yeah. Nice, looking very good. I love the idea of, of skipping the toast and going for the sweet potato. That's really cool. It's a great breakfast item. Mm -hmm. It's an all day. You can eat this at any time. Oh yeah, for sure. And... I will be eating it all day today. <laughs> And then you just sort of decorate it up. Yeah, you have some uh, little radishes that you could put on there. Very you could nice. pickle your radishes, or you can eat them straight just like that. Ah, oh, this gives is a perfect. Little, um, a little dimension mm -hmm. of, uh, it gives it a little pop. This is some dill. You know, dill always goes well with salmon. Yep. Put some dill. You know, and uh, I'm originally from New Mexico, so I have to have a little bit of chili on there. Oh, yeah. you got to have some spice. Yeah, you got to have that. some spice. And so then do you roast all this together when everything's on there? Or nope, it's this is it. It's this ready to eat, yeah. And then, Perfect. Uh, these are our oh, little edible 
uh, pansies that For we Valentine's get. For Valentine's Day, you got to put some flowers. And it's perfect. Chef, thank you so much. Oh, I can't wait. By the way, this is now my third of these that are delicious. Uh, so we're going to have more coming up in the next hour. Give us a quick preview. What are we doing in the 9 o'clock hour? Uh, we're going to do a Versailles special menu. Uh, it's coming out for Valentine's Day, and it's also uh, featured on the new menu, which is our Steak Oscar. It's one of my favorites, and I can't wait to show you. Awesome. All right, we'll mm. see you then. Tim, Paul? don't you dare zoom in on my mouth because I got Paul? cheese all over the place here. Yeah. Uh, two, two thoughts. Mm -hmm. uh, one about your love advice. You're like the George mm -hmm. Costanza of Good Day. We do the opposite <laughs> and that usually pans out really well for us when we just take the opposite. This is true. And the other this thing is, is you told well, all of welcome. Atlanta. See, I mean, it's still my advice. You told all of Atlanta you haven't washed your hands yet. You dig them right into that fondue. I know. Yeah. I was going to ask you well, to bring something back. Well, but that's the whole back. thing is that I don't want anyone else to eat it. That's, no, that's I don't want anyone else to, to do. eat it. Wash your hands or so we don't get any. The fondue. Wash your hands. I'm going to do the same thing over would, here hmm. and no one Who would else want will get any food, after that, right? right? No we definitely don't I'm want any. I'm not sure he would eat after himself. All right, Chateau Alain is located at 100 Rue Charlemagne. That is in Brazelton. And coming up tomorrow morning, our theme of romance and food continues with a trip to Southern Baked Pie Company.